What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to create a blurred wallpaper effect for your iOS device. This is very easy and anyone can do this pretty much. All you need is Photoshop CS6. You can download a free trial over at adobe.com. If you don't have Photoshop, you can download a free trial. It's very easy. They give you like 30 days. I'm not being sponsored by them in any way, but that'd be awesome. <laughs> so let's go and begin. So first import your image into Photoshop. If you don't know how to do that already, Go over to File and Open or Command O if you're on a Mac. Every time I say Command, that's uh, Control on a PC. So once you have your image in Photoshop, right click on the layer and go to Convert to Smart Object. Once you have converted it to Smart Object, I'm going to go ahead and rename it to make everything a little bit more easier to handle, you know, to navigate, okay? So we're going to go ahead and create, um, or we're going to go over to Filter and we're going to blur it. So we're going to go over to Filter. We're gonna go to blur and then we're gonna add a Gaussian blur. So uh, I, I added uh, 190 pixels for the radius. So you can change this to whatever you want. Now just keep in mind when you choose a wallpaper to blur um, that there is a lot of color in it because there, if there's not, and if it's plain, it's gonna be pointless because it's gonna blur everything out and you can't really see it. So yeah, I have it to 190. Of course, you can always change this to whatever you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So once I have done that, we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer. So right here, or you can go over to layer and then new layer or shift command N. And here's our layer. I'm gonna name that to white. We are going to fill this with a white solid color. So hold down uh, option and delete. Make sure that the foreground color is set to white the shortcut is X by pressing X. Um, this will allow you to switch between black and white. So we want our foreground color to be white and then hold down option or, or alt on a PC and then delete. And now we'll fill it with white. Great. So we're at this stage. Now we're going to go ahead and change the blending mode to soft light. So go down to soft light and then the opacity. We're going to go ahead and go down to 25%. Now, once we have done that, we're going to right click on the layer and we're going to uh, create a clipping mask. So, you know, do that, create a clipping mask. Great. So we're here. And uh, once we have done that, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. So go down here, click this little uh, kind of looks like a circle with a white and black, I think. And we'll go over to vibrance. We're going to add some color to this. So the vibrance, we want to increase it to 25. So 25 there we go looks good so this will just add or bring back our colors that we lost when we created our white uh, layer or the white solid layer so um yeah i think i added okay so great so now i'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer and i'm gonna name this uh noise because we're gonna add some noise to this so it doesn't look bland and boring so noise great we're gonna fill it with black so same process as we did with our white layer so just Press X on your keyboard for the shortcut. Hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and then delete. Fill it with black. Now we're going to go over to Filter, go down to Noise, and then click Add Noise. Right here it says Add Noise. Everything is set the way I did it before. So amount 25%. The distribution, make sure it's on Gaussian. Yours might be on Uniform. Make sure it's on Gaussian. And then make sure your monochromatic is checked. This will just make everything. Uh, look a little bit better so it's so it's kind of black and white and not all pixelated in color I don't really know how to explain monochromatic but just click OK and we're gonna change uh, the blending mode to screen so go to screen and then we're gonna change the opacity to 10% and we're pretty much done <laughs> with everything so this is our final result you can see there is some noise so it doesn't look you know boring like that so this is pretty much how to create a blurred wallpaper effect. So now you can use this on your iPad, your iPhone, or even your iPod Touch. Or if you wanted to, you could save it as a wallpaper. So again, if this helps you uh, create an awesome wallpaper, then please leave a rating below in the rating section. Comment, because I love uh, reading your comments. If you want any suggestions for my next video, please tell me. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.